car alignment. We can all benefit from it. I'm thinking especially of all the birth workers who travel to and fro, lots of appointments and pregnant mamas, but we all drive a lot. So let's look at ways that we can drive and move our bodies better. Hi, I'm Marie Antonescu of Massage and Movement. When we're sitting, ideally our pelvis is in neutral, where our ASIS and pubic bone are on the same plane. Because car seats are bucketed, they kind of force us back into this position, tucked under, which puts a lot of pressure on our tailbone and our sacrum. It can cause pain. It reduces um, the area of our pelvic floor. Just all that pushing can be hard on the body long term. And it can also cause a lot of back pain. So ideally, we bolster ourselves into a neutral pelvis. How we do that, first of all, is we take our bucketed seat and we level it out. We can do that with towels. Towels are nice because you can stack multiple towels. You can fold them in different ways so that they fit each driver individually. I like domes and I am sitting on a dome right now with the flat part up so that I can rock on it until I have a neutral pelvis. In fact, I have a dome under me right now. The issue is with someone who's taller and the car is shorter, as you're bringing up the seat, your head goes up higher and you might knock the top. So at some point you do have a limit of how high you can bolster your seat. So I am on a dome and then I rock till I have a neutral pelvis and here I have horizontal thighs. I don't want my knees higher than my hips because this puts a lot of pressure on my hips. If I'm going to be driving a ways, as you can see when I'm in a neutral pelvis I don't use the seat. I sit upright and all my muscles around me can work a little bit. So if I'm driving a long distance, this might get tiring. So I can take a towel, or whatever you have, and bolster behind my pelvis. So where I'm bolstering is here on the bones. I'm not bolstering the lumbar spine, because if we just bolster the lumbar spine, we can still go into a pelvic tuck, and then we're pushing into the back, and it can just get messy. So we're bolstering the actual bones. Once I'm bolstered, I feel supported. Like I just, I can hang out here all day, really. So you just have to play around with what works for you. And then you can adjust your seat further and back until you can reach the pedals in a way that feels good to you. When we're driving, a lot of times we tend to do this motion. So think about head ramping where the back of our skull comes back and up. So our, the back of our neck is nice and elongated. And this helps take pressure off our cervical vertebrae. Another thing to think about is our ribs. They're relaxed down. They're not popped up like so. And then we're ready to go. Also watch your elbows. When our elbows are out to the side, we're internally rotated here at the shoulder and these muscles are shortened. So dropping the elbows down, we open up these muscles of our chest. Here, you know, do your, do your mirrors. Be all safe. When you're looking in your rear or in your um, blind spot, you can twist and then use your neck. And that's a nice way to get our twist into your life. We don't twist a lot in our life. But that's a little bonus of how to get some extra movement in while you're just sitting and driving. If you have any questions, let me know. I am happy to answer them. Have a great day.